Mozarteum, el arte de escuchar, con el auspicio de City. You mean how violinist listens to himself? Yes. Actually, the connection with the instrument is very direct and very intimate because it's so close to your body. Uh, and for me, violin is an imitation of my voice. So I'm imagining that I'm singing. I'm imagining I'm talking or I'm trying to say something by singing it. And for me, it makes it much easier actually because of course it's not totally the part of the body because it's also very awkward position to play it like this because I mean it takes years to get used to that but at some point if you kind of physically make it then it becomes really part of you and it vibrates with you it vibrates and it's like a prolongation of your voice first of all I have a imagination of what I want to hear a couple of milliseconds before I play and then I hear what I play and then Behind, I also hear what orchestra plays. So I think it's a really not only stereo, but multi-hearing multi at the same time. And it's very important that it happens exactly with the right timing. Because when you have that possibility to have this all sorts of different concentration of listening to yourself and to the orchestra in the right timing, then you come into this boat that takes you through the music and takes you on this water and you can go with the flow. But it's not easy because you're, you're kind of, your head is always telling you what to do. Uh, so for me, it's a big, big challenge, but it's, it's a great moment when you actually can feel that you're creating something. <laughs> 